Greetings, Internet World. This is Endless Adventure Gaming, and today I am playing Line Rider, a classic game, at least it's kind of a childhood game. It came out in 2006 or so, made by this guy here whose name I can't even pronounce. But I am very surprised recently to learn that this game is actually still being developed, or has been at least upkept. And looking around YouTube a little bit, it seems like it's fairly popular, and so. After watching a few videos of people making Line Rider tracks synced to classical music, which I might add is really awesome, I've been inspired to get back into playing it a bit, so I thought why not jump into it. So I have sort of a track I've been just messing with. No, no particular like project in mind, just basically trying to get used to Line Rider again. Uh, one thing that's changed, one thing, uh, I don't remember there being three riders at once. There can actually be four in total, I believe. Is it just three? Maybe it's three. It's crazy anyway. Like this game has massively changed. Like it's it's nowhere near like I remember. Like apparently it has built in video export, like maybe it had these features, maybe it didn't. I remember it being very, very minimal. Like you could draw a track, you hit play, guy rise down it, that's about it. Like so this is awesome to see how much this has been overhauled. So, like I say, this track's going no particular direction other than I don't know. Gain some skills here, I guess, see what I can make the character do. I definitely have had some ideas of making like themed tracks and different kind of nods to other games. I had this idea of making a track that's like a micro version of traveling across Canada or something. Like each province is a small section of track or whatever. Different ideas like that. So we'll see. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to kind of experiment here. I'm going to try and keep this video short for now. And I do definitely plan to be more active in the video making scene, pun intended. So I'm going to hit the play button here and just see what happens. Have our three riders. And it focuses on the red one by default, and that was actually an awesome flip. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can make it focus on other riders, but that was hilarious. Let's let's do that again. Look at this. Starts out smooth. That that wipeout. Like, look at his face. Look at that face. It's gonna just look like, why have you done this to me? So I'm not sure what causes the blue one to wipe out. The green one actually. How does that one wipe out? Hard to tell. Oh, he just doesn't stick the landing. Okay. And the blue one, probably the same deal, just not sticking the landing. Oh yeah, he like lands on his head. Okay, so let's try and get these guys to all smoothly make it down to this sort of less chaotic spot down here. For starts, so I believe the red one is wiping out because it's running into this. It would seem like they have collision like hitboxes or collision data of sorts in their heads or up in the top here as well as the sled. So that means this line here, and possibly that one, is hitting the character in the head. So for starters, I'm just going to delete that line. And if I grab the timeline here, it's literally basically animation software in the form of a game. Like, I don't know why that's... It should let me get a bit... Oh. Yeah, right there. Oh, I don't know why that has like 25 minutes worth of length on it. I'm still kind of discovering how the features work. Um, Invo? No. Is there a help topic on this? Pencil, stop. Try hotkeys. Like, look at this. This is insane. I don't remember any of this stuff back in the day. Uh, let's see here. And tools into a play, flag, toggle event selection, go to start, open, save. Oh. Wait, really? Dude, that's awesome. 